The femoral nerve is the largest branch of the lumbar plexus. It arises from the dorsal divisions of the ventral rami of the second, third, and fourth lumbar nerves. It descends through the fibers of the source major muscle, emerging from the muscle at the lower part of its lateral border, and passes down between it and the iliacus muscle behind the fascia iliaca. It then runs beneath the inguinal ligament into the thigh and splits into an anterior and posterior divisions. The anterior branch of the femoral nerve is a superficial branch which gives rise to medial femoral cutaneous nerve, intermediate femoral cutaneous nerve, and two muscular branches to the pectineus and sartorius. The posterior branch is a deep branch and it supplies the hip joint and the knee joint and gives muscular branches to rectus femoris and the vastal lateralis, intermedius and medialis. It then continues as a septus nerve below the knee joint. The probe is placed just under the inguinal ligament over the femoral artery. The needle is approached from the lateral side of the probe. You can see on the right side of the monitor the femoral artery pulsating. The needle is introduced slightly away from the probe so that the needle does not touch the probe and asepsis is maintained. This is a no touch technique. The area is prepped with chlorhexidin and so is the probe. The needle first pierces the fascia lata and then you feel a pop going through the fascia iliaca. The idea is to place the local anesthetic first under the nerve. It will then lift the nerve up and sometimes the local anesthetic spreads all around it. But if it does not, the needle is withdrawn and the local anesthetic is deposited anterior to the nerve. 